Hey guys, this is Sarah with CME. I'm here today with Corduroy Brown out of West Virginia. Thank you all for coming in today. We're stoked to have you here. It is good to be here in Chicago with you. Wonderful. Um, I'm just going to run through a list of questions here. Uh, we'll start with something kind of easy. What do you consider to be your biggest influences? Anybody you kind of look to for inspiration in your songwriting? I feel like the generic answer is always like, oh, I listen to everything, but that's kind of true because I grew up like with tapes of Michael Jackson, but I learned cool. like metal, heavy metal and guitar, like when I first started learning and then you, know, you guys listen to metal. What I mean, when you guys listen to all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I've got two uh, uh, bands I listen to, but I grew up like metal, cool, like, hardcore metal. Mm -hmm. And then as I got older, I blended into like the country music scene. So I got I feel like a that's a of, healthy mix. Yeah, it's a little mm -hmm. bit of both worlds. So uh, this guy's helping me brought out some, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Chris, <laughs> li Tell me Chris, more is, about Chris that. listens to the I'm, weirdest stuff. I'm kind of the chaotic force. Ooh, yeah, I'm, tell me more about like, the chaos part. <laughs> uh, like 
Primus. I'll, I'll uh, go on like a tangent of like surf or okay. like Russian ska or just like <laughs> weird things that I'll be all about for like a month and then I'll drop it. But me and him drive together a lot to shows and so I just make him listen to all that and it makes him uncomfortable but I like it. Yeah, so, it can make for <laughs> a weird road trip. But you also have like a captive audience and when you're the DJ. Yeah, it's just, yeah. That's what it is. he's driving, I'm DJing. He, yeah. That's got to be fun, though. It sounds like y'all cover a variety of genres. So do you feel like that all kind of plays into how you come together as a group? It has to. I mean, it definitely plays together in how we write songs because my brain is very, like, A to Z. Like, I want to get to a point, and then these guys will help me make it go weird for a minute and then bring like it that? back. So, like, they're, they're, we're you're definitely yin and yang together for sure. That's rad. Um, kind of in that same vein, and I probably have different answers from each of you, but is there sort of a dream show, Bill, if you could put one together, like you and two other bands or artists? Who would that be for Jacob, you? you have one. <laughs> you, I know you do. I know you do. Well, obviously, uh, Eric Church would be a big one <laughs> <Yeah>. of mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that would be who I would pick. But Avenged Sevenfold's my number one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, cool. I like it. So that would be my bill. I don't know about you guys. Uh, yeah, mine would be Houndmouth, which is from like Kentucky and Indiana. They're like real kind of indie, like they call it like, I guess all something, whatever that is anymore. But Houndmouth yeah. and then Paramore, hands down. Put me on a bill with Haley Williams right now. You're talking right to right a now. big Paramore fan right now. Listen, Someone no, like listen, you. I've been on all three, cru- all the Parahoy cruises. Were we, we on the same one? I went to all three of them. <laughs> yeah, we've been on the same boat, sir. That's crazy. Yeah.
I feel like there's so many genres today, uh, categories with music can be very subjective. To someone who just asked you to describe your sound, how would you sort of describe Corduroy Brown to somebody who wasn't familiar? Sure, I always tell them it's like the perfect blend of just feel good, mm-hmm. like, but blend in a little bit of like 90s, 2000s, like roll your windows down a little bit. Ooh, okay. Like, that's, the, that's like the bare minimum description I try to give to people. Um, but ultimately with the music like so i actually asked someone this on facebook i asked put up a poll i was like please describe our music in like 10 words that. minimum and one of the best ones that i got and then not because it was nice but just because i agree with it and that's our goal okay but the guy said your music makes us feel like everything is going to be okay what a wonderful and compliment i that's what i've tried to do with everything in my life and let alone music so feel good make you feel like everything's going to be okay and I think that's a good way to describe it. That's lovely. I feel like it doesn't get much better than that. It's not even necessarily <laughs> I was in a just category. Say ditto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's super high compliment. Um, is there anything you love most about kind of being on tour or playing around in different areas? Anything you guys enjoy about that or 
We're, we just love to eat. <laughs> like, Ooh. We, none of us are, <laughs> you know, going to be running any 5K or marathons anytime soon because we're always eating all the time. But um, it's fine. Food is better than running. It is. Um, it kind of is. Any favorite uh, food you've had on the road in your travels? Oh, gosh. Where were we? Did, what were we doing in Indiana yesterday? Uh, it was Sheba, oh, sh- Little Sheba. It was like a burger place. Yeah. It, yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was like onion. There was onion and all the buns, and I mean, it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> can never have enough onion. I, I love it. Um, is there any one piece of gear that you all feel is crucial to your sound? And if you each have an answer for that, that's great too. Um, anything that sort of stands out for you? You like that? You look bass like you've bag. got yeah. something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, mine's a, a double bass for sure. Rad. But I mean, I gotta have that. Never enough double bass. Uh, my especially. dream brand, hopefully they'll reach out to me after this interview, but <laughs> yeah. is DW. I'd love to have a DW drum set. I mean, that's kind of the dream, right? So drum workshop. Very drum familiar. Workshop, yeah. yeah. So that's my. What do you want, Chris? <laughs> uh, dream thing or what I always take? Both, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I always take like, uh, I leave on like a compressor and a uh, overdrive all the time. Like. Cool. I. I mean, I, I sound fine without it, but like I kind of found that, and I've just stuck to that. Just like for, it's what feels forever. right. And so, for my dream piece of gear, it'd probably just be the most expensive of both of those things. All right, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about for yourself? I haven't found my dream amp yet. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know. I don't want anything big. I don't want giant half stacks or anything. Sure. But I know that I have to either have P90s or humbuckers in anything I play. Okay. I'm, I just can't. Every time I go to a Strat or something else, I'm like, what? Well, eh, something just missing. doesn't, it just feel, doesn't right. feel right anymore. So mm-hmm. anything with P90s or humbuckers, I'm pretty happy with. That's great. I love that. Yeah. 
Um, can y'all talk to me a little bit about your songwriting process and how you work together as a band with your writing? Yeah, I do all the work. And <laughs> now, uh, uh, sort of joking, not really, but um, I don't know. I mean, like Corduroy Brown is me, but it's them and it's a bunch of people. You know, when we wrote the first album, like it was called, the first album was called Let Me Know. Mm -hmm. And it was this whole thing about like in my entire life, somehow people have always said the phrase, let me know, and they've meant it, meaning anything if you think about what that phrase really means it's like people are saying i am yielding what do you what do you need what do you i will have your back and people have done that my entire life for some reason and um when we made the first album and even the new albums that are working on so many people had their hands in it not just musically but there were like there's like a voicemail from my mom and there's like we read tweets from this one guy and like hit him in the bottom of the song and like one of, ah. one of my best friends and like just so he could be in part of the album and stuff so like I, I love collaboration with any kind of music. I think that's the best way to go about it. I mean, I don't like to just say, hey, here's a song. We're going to do it this way. It mm -hmm. evolves so much. I mean, I'm with you guys, especially. That's awesome. Yeah, I think embracing the fact that there's always going to be evolution. And yeah, that's amazing. Um, for folks who want to hear more of you, where's the best place to find you? Is there any uh, social media you want to shout out? Anything you want to throw down here for the entire Internet? Absolutely. Okay. So the best way to find us, uh, I have to give everyone a spelling lesson because for some reason people spell corduroy the weird i don't know why people spell corduroy so incorrectly but true's off camera like <laughs> all right <laughs> you have a pass well, that is, dyslexic. that's a pass <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's, what, that's what everyone says <laughs> so, but huh. if you want to look us up you can look up corduroy brown and if you need to know how to spell corduroy it's cord you roy it's not special it's not weird the Three letter syllables. U. Literally the yeah chord letter U Roy. I'll get it now because of the yeah. three That's syllables. That's beautiful. Um, yeah. Look up Corduroy Brown W V um, Instagram Facebook TikTok um, all kinds of different stuff. Our music is everywhere that you listen to it. Fantastic. And what's on the horizon for y'all? What's coming up next that you're most excited about? And we have a lot of like just shows. We have one finally hometown show coming up in September, but we're on the road a lot, and that means three or four hours away from home. I can't wait to hibernate in the winter and write a new album and finish a new album. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about that because I'm ready for one. Yeah. <laughs> I need one. I'm craving one. That's great. Wonderful. Anything we didn't cover today that you want to throw out while we're while we're on? I'm good. Any other <laughs> any other uh, I'll, gear I'll or band yeah. shout outs? <laughs> I know I could talk um, forever too. Um, well, thank you all for coming in today. It was a blast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, for, Thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys. Sure. Watercolor things I swore I meant I couldn't let go, I couldn't walk this far So I held on tight and went far beyond For me, it's not easy I see something else
me I'm better off now being to myself 